All right, so other ways that we can uh, move our camera, uh, we'll do this uh, from the not perspective of the camera. So let's get out of this view. I'm just gonna untick this lock icon right here and just kind of zoom back out and kind of uh, get a good view of my scene here. Now, uh, the view is a little bit off kilter, so I'm just gonna hit spacebar H to rehome my view. And that way I can kind of uh, see my horizons uh, been corrected like that. I'm um, just going to, for visibility, turn off the lights by clicking on the little sunglasses and unticking the lights option there. And let's look at this manipulator that we have here with our uh, with our camera. Um, you can see it's kind of got like, we got rotation controls and we can just kind of grab this thing and move it up and down. Well, you can see that it kind of has like, almost like a little mini aim constraint built into it. I can grab this uh, locator and kind of move it around and it will always sort of point at that. Um, and also, uh, one of the things that you can do is, you know, obviously if we rotate, this is different than a name constraint though, because if we rotate the actual camera, it brings this uh, kind of aimer along with it, which is kind of an interesting uh, behavior. Another thing that you can do is you actually can rotate about wherever this kind of focus point is. So you see this kind of like thing that looks like a little lens. Well, if I grab, you know, one of the axes of that, you can see that we almost actually are able to orbit the camera around the focal point. Uh, like that. Um, if you do hover over the um, camera uh, where this little purple square pops up and right click, you can see there's a bunch of different types of handles. You can align your handle to the world and that'll allow you to sort of uh, move your camera along the world axis. Uh, if you right click on it and align to view, it will actually align the camera to your current view. So we're pushing this camera towards us and away from us by using this little square thing here that can be handy sometimes. And um, there's also um, construction plane and parent and all that stuff like that. Orientation picking, these are all options that will allow you to sort of uh, do some kind of tricky um, positioning of your manipulators. Um, if we go back to the, uh, if we go back to align the handle to the object, we can also uh, get it so that we can uh, move our camera around and it isn't going to kind of like be pointing always at this sort of focal point. So if I right click on here and I say anchor orientation handles, if I untick that and then uh, move my camera around, you can see that um, it is no longer um, looking at my view when I move either end of this camera um, manipulator handle thingy. So if I wanted to kind of manipulate my camera to get back to where it was before from the uh, from not within the uh, actual camera view, um, I might uh, split my view left and right. So up here in this menu uh, where it looks like a white square, I'm just going to come down to two views side by side. And then I might look through camera uh, one um, or sorry, camera two on this side. And you can see that it's not really pointing at anything. Then over here with the manipulator, I'm just gonna to switch to regular lighting mode. This is look through headlight only mode. And I'm gonna just uh, kind of set this up. So I'm gonna actually push the aim back to kind of where um, I want it on here. Uh, but you can see that it's not actually, you know, I'm grabbing this and I could move these, I could move these handles through space like so and try and align things. Uh, but what I wanna actually do is use the aim on this, uh, the kind of aim feature that we had just turned off. So let's right click on the handle and turn anchor orientation handles again. So now I can kind of move this um, kind of aimer around, which is nice. Um, another thing I can do is actually lock it or have it um, have it snap to points. So I've got a bunch of points here on my geo. I'm gonna just snap to that. So let's just grab the, I'm just gonna hit this magnet with a little dot in the corner of it. And then I'm going to grab the handle and just kind of put it on the geometry. And you can see that that manipulator is snapping right onto this little paint splash right here. So, you know, I know that I'm looking directly at that. And um, I think that it will also be setting my uh, focus distance to that point as well, which we'll look at in just a second. Then to uh, bring my camera actually back in, I will maybe actually switch this over to align my handle to world. Um, and I'll just drop this down here and bring it um, now now I actually might but since I want to push in I'll right click and align handle to object and push directly in and uh, maybe I'll bring it down a little bit more and now uh, from over here in this view I'm pretty close but I like to dial it the rest of the way in uh, using these little handles like so and maybe I'll just pan this way and maybe I'll just actually just do a regular old uh, 
regular old orbit. And since I didn't have my camera locked, I lost it. So let's go back to camera two and hit the lock key and just orbit it in a little bit like so. And then untick the lock. And now I've repositioned my camera. 